Hello, Okinawa. Uh, my name is Kim Cofino, and I'm the Technology and Learning Coach at Yokohama International School. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about um, the Beyond Laptops mini conference that we've had for the last four years. Um, we started uh, Beyond Laptops um, when we wanted to move to one to one, but we didn't actually know how that would work or um, kind of what best practice was because no one at YS had been in that environment before. So we invited some schools from around Asia to come together and just kind of talk about what that looks like at their school and what they're implementing um, where they are. And that was really successful. It was a very small meeting. We didn't um, have quite the network that we do now, um, but we got lots of ideas for how to implement our one-to-one -one program successfully through those small group conversations. And I think that is a key element that uh, helped us be successful in our implementation. Um, what was really exciting, I think, about that first meeting is that we realized that people would kind of fly to Japan for some informal conversations for just two days or three days. It, there was no kind of agenda or real formal setting for the meeting. It was just, let's get together and let's chat. And it really did work. Uh, so that was really exciting. And because that was so successful that first year, we ended up following it up and having the event year after year for the past four years. Um, we had one year where we had like 65 people, and we realized that that was kind of too big. So we've now limited the numbers to 40, kept that kind of informal element where it's just, there's no presenters, it's just an opportunity to come and share and learn together um, and kind of network and um, understand a little bit more about what other like schools are doing. And um, that's really exciting because it's not like your normal conference setting, right? People come expecting to be given information, but here at, at Beyond Laptops you come and you, um, you give information and you learn from others because everyone's sharing. Um, generally speaking, I think um, the evolution has been keeping it informal, but also bringing in key themes. Like this year we had three key themes, one for each day. And that was really successful because we had something to focus on in our informal conversations. So I think we've found size at about 40 people is really good. Um, three days, we started at two days and now we're at three days. Um, three days is a good amount of time because we need that time together to kind of build those connections and build that community and really kind of feel like we're learning together and we want to be together in the same room and we can be open and share and be vulnerable together. Um, and then kind of bringing in some themes um, we've always had some outside guest speakers via Skype, um, but adding that guest speaker to fit in with the theme has also been really successful in this, um, this last event. In terms of challenges, I think um, the biggest challenge, I guess, is keeping it at 40 and making sure that enough people know about it so that we can have a diverse conversation, but not um, ending up with people feeling left out. So we want people to know that the event is happening, but because we can only have 40 people, we don't want anyone who wants to come to not be able to come. So that, I guess that's a big challenge. Uh, in terms of pleasant surprises, I, certainly the fact that it keeps going. Like, it's really shocking to me that people are um, want to fly all the way out here just to kind of hang out and talk. I, I guess it's not shocking because I totally get the value for myself, um, and I would do it if someone else was hosting it. Uh, but it's really exciting that people want to do that year after year and that we can keep kind of reimagining what those conversations can be like so that it's interesting year after year. I think those are the key, lights, key, key highlights of uh, Beyond Laptops for me, so I hope that helps uh, kind of set the stage for your conversation this morning. Thank you for inviting me in to chat with you. Um, hope you have a great day.